Biggest Megalodon caught on camera. But are they really extinct? Now, evidence says that they aren't. Ah, uh, I hate this person's voice. This is gonna be really tough to get through. This is worse than chills. In this episode, I'll show you Megalodons caught on camera. Ah, uh, let's- The voice just sounds like someone who would say this. It does sound like Worley's script. Maybe this is an AI generated. I mean, this is a weird ass title. The biggest Megalodon caught on camera as like implies that there have been multiple Megalodons caught on camera because it's saying the biggest one. I guess if you'd only caught one, that would be the biggest one and Let's the go. smallest. What does society think? What? According to official science, the giant Megalodon shark became completely extinct as a species about two to 2.6 million years ago. <laughs> Terrible image. <laughs> Look at this image. <laughs> Why is this eye like this? <laughs> this is such a bad image of a megalodon. It's kind of funny though. Scientists John McCosker and Richard Ellis, who specialize in great white sharks, believe they're not. What? There's no way there are two great white shark scientists who believe that megalodons are still alive. That's just not true. Studies of two megalodon teeth found accidentally in the- He just gave actual people's names. These can't be real people who believe this. I don't- Should I look them up? Scientists John McCosker and Richard Ellis, who spe- Richard Ellis. Richard Ellis. Marine biologist. American Marine Biologist author and illustrator. Paleontology. Special advisor to the Cetacean Society. Does he believe that the megalodon still exist? Deep Atlantic, Monsters of the Sea, Imagining Atlantis, The Search for the Giant Squid, Sea Dragons. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and have to get rid of this guy's credibility. <laughs> Studies of two megalodon teeth found accidentally in the Pacific Ocean have shown that they were lost by giant sharks not millions of years ago, but about 24,000 and 11,000. I've been disproved multiple times that this is... Uh, a terrible job of dating these teeth and it was actually done incredibly poorly because it was done in the fucking 1800s. Also, what does this have to do with society? Years ago, a living example is the Colacanthus fish. Colacanthus? You've massacred my boy. The fucking Colacanthus is probably the worst pronunciation I've heard. So why couldn't Megalodon have survived? Also, the belief in the ancient monster was Why couldn't the Megalodon survive? Because it's just not even close to the same size, prey source, habitat, discoverability. And in 2013, by the famous Discovery TV channel, in its special project, Megalodon, the monster shark lives. Which they have since retracted and apologized for, by the way. Although the program has caused strong criticism from scientists, because the facts listed in it were controversial. And the photos and video footage in the program. They weren't controversial, they were fake. <laughs> it's There's nothing controversial about it. They were prov provably false, and Discovery Channel themselves admitted that. And were considered They to used be fake marine biologists, and then after we're like, haha, guys, it was just a joke the whole time. Deep Blue. In 2016... Deep Blue, the giant, or just the large, pregnant, great white shark. Of course, Deep Blue is not a megalodon as we imagine it, but some people believe that the very existence of such a large fish may indicate that the giant megalodons still live in the ocean depths. Wouldn't this indicate the opposite? Wouldn't this indicate that most megalodon spottings would be certifiably just proven to be a great white instead? Wouldn't that be the actual evidence here? Given these facts, we can assume that the shark is either a relative of megalodons or evolved species, which is not unreasonable. If this is true, then the camera caught the largest megalodon that could be filmed from a close angle. Have you ever seen a fat, jolly old man that suggests Santa is real? I mean, by this logic, yeah. I mean, hey, maybe he has more, you know, positive things to say. Maybe his first two evidence were his weakest and it only gets stronger as we go through the video. Megalodons on the hunt. At one moment, a huge monster appeared from the water and caught the whale with its jaws, dragging it down. One. This is fucking crazy. <laughs> this is fucking insane. I've never seen this video before. And only be amazed at the Do you understand how shallow it would be right here? You're right on the beach. The enormous size of the creature that was able to eat the whale. Are these This is a crazy video. Are these shots a fake or are they Was that added in post? 
yeah, no fucking shit. This is like a video of a storm happening and people running away from the storm. Oh, Jesus a Christ. Megalodon. Well, at least they showed me new footage. That is footage I have not seen before. That was some some real new shit. Is that is it new? Oh my God, February 20th, 2022. That must be new evidence. Trapman Bermagui. Okay. Until they got the shark, or rather its upper part, without the rest of its body, separated by a single bite near the pectoral fins. Sick. Jason Moyes commented on the catch of the bitten shark. That is a like mako that. shark head. There's always a bigger fish out there. He distinguished the traces of large teeth quite clearly, but what creature could do such a thing? Other sharks simply Must don't have be a the megalodon. jaws of this size. I wonder when Megal these fake CGI megalodons will actually start looking decent. Every evidence we see is ridiculous. I feel like there's certainly the capability. It's just the people who have the talent to be making realistic, you know, megalodon evidence are not uh, doing that with their time. They're spending their time in better ways. But maybe when programs become so easy to use that you can just make convincing CGI without having to really know what you're doing, it'll probably be a thing. As we all know, scientists are some of the most skeptical people, but this video shocked even them. These days, anyone can go online Doesn't even make and watch any sense. Real them as if all scientists are the same person. And also, they're usually skeptical, but this shock to them, I don't. Okay. Spinning in some places at it the bottom of the It must be convincing. Ocean. During one of these broadcasts, a camera recorded That's the fucking a fucking Greenland thing. shark again. According to existing knowledge, no animal living in the area where the camera was standing has such huge size. Oh no! It's what the shadow in the background. Was? Really? Could it be the ancient megalodon monster? No be a variety of Zane different things Gray. one day as he swung overboard he saw a huge yellow <laughs> literally every scientist was simultaneously and collectively shocked at the same time green shark with a square head huge pectoral fins and several white spots in the water gray claimed that it was much larger than his boat larger than his boat white spots sounds like a whale shark but this was no whale shark what was it how, what, how do you know it was no whale shark? He just keeps saying it wasn't a whale shark. You've described the only describing features that you've given have been that it was exactly a whale shark. You've given features that prove that it was a whale shark. So until you give me features that prove that it is not a whale shark, I don't understand how you can just say it's not. Maybe it was a real prehistoric monster from the ocean depths. No. Huge sea creature. Wow. The man later stated that he was sure he had seen a megalodon. What's your opinion? It just looks like a normal shark. I don't understand. What? What? It's just... What? That was it? That was the whole evidence. Queensland. Although most of the reef's organisms have been studied in detail, scientists believe this ecosystem still keeps many important secrets. The great... Yeah, like microorganisms and like fish species that we don't know are distinguished, not secrets like a fucking megalodon Bodies. shark on a reef. Megalodon off South Africa. One day, the friends rented a boat to go fishing. However, their vacation did not end well. Their boat was attacked by a huge sea animal. As evidence, the company shows the footage of the attack, which was recorded by one of the crew members. What? what? It was just a video of the boat rocking. Dex! In the Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> okay. All right. Forgot about the sound alerts. Give me a second to center myself. That is way too loud for $1. Um, <laughs> anyways, shitty video. David Stead. The men surfaced in horror, climbed onto the deck of the trawler, and the giant shark leisurely swallowed all of the traps, along with the crayfish and the cables holding the traps to the bottom. Is this A just going to be the Greenland shark video? Fisherman revealed that the size of the shark was simply incredible. It was at least 35 meters long. Jesus and its Christ. Head was so huge that it looked like the roof of a barn of great size. In addition, the week-long refusal to go to sea... Did he say 35 meters? Hold on. Let me put that into freedom units for a second. Jesus Christ! 114 feet is insane. Seriously reduced their earnings. That's like way beyond the Megalodon or anything even remotely similar. It's an indication that the fishermen really couldn't overcome the horror of their encounter with the monster. That's all, guys. Thank God. That was weird. It was presented in such an intelligent way, but it was just such a bad video. 
I don't know what to say other than that video was just bad. Whoa.